Hey there, Jordan and Corey. That's right. And the victim's brother was in attendance. He said there were, quote, pretty words, no change. He feels police should be near, near school campuses to help prevent these incidents and make kids feel safer. One week after Luis Garcia died, his classmates wanted their voices to be heard at last night's summit on gun violence. Those listening, school district leaders, public safety officials, and elected officials. The students said they hope these leaders will listen to their concerns, support them, and work to address them before they lose another classmate. We spoke to Luis's brother Santos after the summit. He says it doesn't matter if they do everything right. They just aren't safe as teens. They said that that we are in control of our security and how safe we are in this world. But I mean, we're really not. He was like one of the best kids, brothers to ever, you know, that I could ever ask for. And he did everything perfectly, and he wasn't in control of that. You can only imagine what he's going through and what his family is going through and to be there last night and to be present for this talk. So far this school year, there have been 31 incidents involving guns on or near school campuses. That's according to the Denver Public School Superintendent. He attributes those incidents to illegal gun sales or improper storage of a gun. Corey? Yeah, your heart really just breaks for this family. And, you know, Santos has been so outspoken about things, but pretty words. That's a really interesting way to describe it, you know, and he just wants to see more progress done quickly. You know, you just think about it easily glossing over the real issue at hand here. So those pretty words, it's just to be able to serve face. It's not actually prompting a solution or warranting a solution to really be able to keep these kids safe and make sure every seat in their classroom is filled. Well, that conversation is in motion and we're going to have to keep up mm -hmm. with its progress. Darius, thank you.